Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over a few things that have been happening in my booth over the past month or so. I want to take you along this process with me. So we are creating a new display piece for my booth here. Um, the big news is that I decided to downsize my booth space and I went from a seven by eight roughly to a seven by three space. So a much smaller space. Um, I'll be focusing more on smalls rather than furniture pieces, but I will get into that later. So this ladder um, I've actually had for several years. If you've been following my channel for a while, you may recognize this ladder. I used it for several um, years when I was doing craft events. I would bring it as a display piece. My husband had built shelves and this really looked great, especially at Christmas time because of the red ladder. Um, but I am now going to be giving it a different look. So I'm going for more of that modern farmhouse look for my booth space. So I sanded it down to smooth out all of the surfaces so that I could paint it. And I have this Krylon um, paint. It's actually like latex acrylic or something. I think my husband used it a, a couple years ago for something and we had so much of it left. So I decided I was gonna use it for this piece so I didn't have to go out and buy paint for just a display piece. Now, because I'm focusing more on smalls in my booth space now instead of furniture pieces, I wanted to make sure I had something that had enough shelf space that I would be able to put a lot of items on it. And so my husband did make new shelves for me um, and I was able to stain them um, so that it again had more of that farmhouse look. I really like how these turned out. So he just cut down strips of wood that he um, got for me. I cannot remember what type of wood this is, but then he just attached them underneath with another strip of skinnier wood so that they were, you know, held together. Um, and then I gave him a good stain. I picked, um, I believe this is, um, I believe this is Early American um, by Minwax. I really like this color and I love how it complements the, the black um, from the ladder. I think it works really well together. So I just stained all this, all of them. I let them sit for several days to make sure that they were fully dried before I brought this down to my booth space. So we're about to head to my booth space and I just wanted to let you know I did this over the past weekend. So the lease that I had for my other space ended at the first of the month and so I had to have everything out of that other space by Thursday, which was yesterday by the time you're watching this. So I went down, my husband came and helped me. We went down on sun, this past Sunday and this is my new space. So you can see it is much smaller. So it's seven feet wide by three feet deep. Um, and all that I kept from my other space was um, a small shelving unit that I got from Hobby Lobby that I used also for display pieces. That is the only other furniture piece that I have in this space. Everything else in my other booth thankfully um, either sold or I was able to put in to the last call section at the store um, and thankfully one of those pieces has sold since I put it into that last call section so I'm really happy about that. So at this point, um, my husband was very helpful. After we got the display piece up in the new spot, he was bringing all of my small pieces from my other space into this into this new one, and I was going through them. So I didn't bring too many new items into this space at this time. I really wanted to gauge, you know, what I had from the other space and bring it over to the new one and then go from there. So I would say probably about 90% of the items in my new space are actually from my other spot um, with a few new pieces that I did bring down. But I sorted through everything that I had from the other spot and like I said I was going for more of like the modern farmhouse vibe I still want some vintage pieces in there and I am going to be mixing in you know pieces that I have upcycled or even pieces that I have you know DIY made myself so I will be introducing those as well and um, 
it may look a little sparse to begin with, but like I said, I just needed to transition everything over and then, you know, reassess everything. So now in the next, within the next couple weeks, I'll be able to restock this really well and get it full of small items. So there were a lot of factors that went into me deciding to downsize. Um, I won't go into every single one of them, but the biggest thing was I was becoming very overwhelmed. Um, I have a full-time job and I love doing, you know, the booth space, having a booth. I love doing YouTube, but all of it was becoming very overwhelming, especially um, over the past several months. And I was trying to figure out how to keep bringing joy into everything that I was doing. And I didn't want everything to feel like a job. I wanted to continue enjoying what I was doing and I realized I just did not have as much time to dedicate to, you know, furniture pieces to fill my other space since it was larger. Um, sometimes I didn't really have a lot of time to even go thrifting or to estate sales. Um, and so because of being stressed, it also affected my, you know, my creativity and, you know, my, my drive to you know, keep doing things. So I took a step back, which you may have noticed. I haven't posted as many videos this summer. I've kind of taken a step back to try and help with my inspiration, my creativity, and just kind of, you know, resetting. Um, I think I really needed that this summer. And I can tell you, especially after my Christmas DIY video, um, I'm really excited for the fall and the Christmas time to, you know, ramp up with videos and doing crafts and filling this space with holiday items. So I really, you know, hope that you guys continue to follow along this journey with me while I am, you know, working on the smaller space in my booth, but also with, with YouTube and putting videos out for the holidays. I hope everyone has enjoyed their summer so far. I cannot believe we are already into August. And here, very shortly, I will be ramping up on fall projects. So I hope you guys are excited as I am. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your week. And let me know what you think of the smaller space. I know this is drastically different from my other one. So I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And if you guys have any other tips for smaller spaces for booths, please let me know in the comments. Bye guys.